Hey guys, it's The Doc, and we're wrapping up another week here. Uh, you know, March is, is fighting. Uh, we had a little snow this week. We got a snowstorm, I think, coming through this weekend. So winter is, uh, you know, giving us its last blows. Um, but, uh, you know, we, we got a couple of days where our spring was in the air. and looking forward to the change in weather. Um, so regardless, these are my thoughts of the week. So this week, um, Interestingly enough, I had a, a parent-teacher conference uh, for one of my kids, my youngest, and you know everything is still conducted via Zoom. And you know, but behind the teachers was this poster, and it said, um, "Think before you speak," and "Think" being an acronym, so you know each letter standing for something. So you know, is what you're saying true? That's T. Uh, is what you're saying going to be helpful? Uh, is what you're saying going to be inspiring or inspirational? Um, is what you're saying necessary? Do you need to say whatever you want to say? And is what you're going to say kind? And you know, I thought that was uh, such a great acronym. I'd actually never seen that before. You know, it was on the the wall of a fourth grade classroom. But it's something that I think is so relevant to all of us. You know, it's you know those five things to think about before you say something or post something or write something. Uh, I think are so critical because a lot of the a lot of times, uh, you know, spreading gossip. You're not necessarily saying anything that's true. It's not helpful in any way. It's not necessary, and you know, many conversations are around these sorts of things, which are really just, you know, don't don't uh, empower folks and don't you know spread love and kindness and those sorts of things, which are so critical. So, um, you know, a message that's important for fourth graders to think before you speak, I think, is equally important for. All of us adults. Um, before I close, I just want to acknowledge um, something one of my followers actually mentioned to me, which I didn't realize. March is Endometriosis Awareness Month, and you know, endometriosis is a is a condition that affects many many women. And for many of these women, it goes undiagnosed for many years, and they suffer for you know years year upon year without having the correct diagnosis and the correct treatment. So um, it's important to have awareness of this condition. There are great doctors out there that do manage endometriosis and have helped countless number of women um, work their way through this diagnosis. So just want to acknowledge uh, Endometriosis Awareness Month. And with that, I uh, wish all of you a wonderful, restful weekend. Let's get it.